This is a video showing the trace playback recording capabilities and field clocks and saving of the data, specifically it's about saving CSV data. I have a signal around 550 megahertz connected to my field clocks. You can't see it, but I have a SIGGEN hooking up to it. And it's signal moving across the screen, this frequency sweep. It's going to trace, record playback, and this is RTSA mode, real-time spectrum analyzer mode. I guess you could tell from the display. New session, session data, and I want to record 200 traces. And this is the menu we're really going to be focusing on. Are you saving a single trace, a range of traces, or all traces? We say single trace. And I will say record player, record. And now we're doing the recording. Record playback setup. Close session. Let's check on the session, manage session. RT auto session three is the one I just saved. Okay. Now just to be clear, I'm going to turn my RF signal off so there's nothing there. So if we see a signal on there, it's been part of the playback. We go to recall and I recall it. So now I have it open, but I'm not playing it actually. And I'm going to say save, save the file. And this was a single trace I was saving. So I'll say single trace data. Now let's say I want to save all the traces, not just a single trace, because I did a recording of 200. I go to record playback, record playback, so let's close it, just to be safe, we'll recall it again. This time I go to session data and I say all traces. And then I go back to save, CSV, and I say save, and this time I say all trace data. And you see it's saying it saved 242 playback traces. And it's taking a time, some time to read it because it is 242 traces that it's got to write. Okay, and then the last option is a range of traces. So I go to trace, report playback, Work playback setup. Let's recall the session again. Session data, and let's pick range traces. And if I go into playback configuration, I can set that range. Let's say I want to say from trace 30 to 50. I don't want all the traces. I want just 20 traces saved. And I go to save, recall, save. And this time I will say range trace data. And now it's saving from 30 to 50. I think there's a trick here that if you are in record playback and you are playing the file, see now you're actually seeing it play, and you can see it's playing from 30 to 50 here. And I go into save, save. This is range traces also. I'm going to say playback, meaning my play was on. If you notice it only saved one trace because if it's saving 30 to 50 or the whole trace it says it so you can't actually be playing it back if you're in stopped mode you've recalled it it's open let's look again so i say save say this is not in playback this is let's call it just open now it's going to say i'm saving from 30 to 50. But if I had actually recalled it and was playing it back, notice that there is no 30 to 50. It's just saving, saving, playing data. It's only going to just save one trace. The myth, it's just a quick menu. And we're going to look at this data um, here. I have FTP to the box. And this is the data that we had saved. And let's go ahead and take all these um, files that we saved. I think we had the ones with the data. And I'm going to move it into field box data. This may take a minute. And now on my computer, I'm going to open up at field box data. So the first one we did was single trace. And this is simply a single trace frequency amplitude. 
one GPS timestamp. Now if I look at the one that was range trace, all traces, let's, that was the next one we say. All trace data. Now you can see this, this is all the 200 traces that I saved all the way to the end. And each one has a GPS timestamp. I mean, I'm not moving, but if you were, you would see all the GPS timestamps on it for each of the recordings. Then we have the ranges, and this one should be 20 traces. So let's take a look. It's one all the way. Wow, it's more than 20. So the range trace, I guess it saved the whole thing. Hmm. Oh, no, sorry. That's the, that's the frequency points, right? So the number of traces, this is the traces, this is the 20 traces right here. You can see from 30 to 50. If we go back to the other one, yeah, this makes sense, each timestamp. So this is the 200 or so traces it saved. I'm not quite sure when you say 200, why it goes to 242. I think that's some uh, behavior and part of RTSA. Now if I say just open, I had opened the file this one saves all of it. You can see the 20 traces. But if I was playing it back, see it's a single trace. This one was again, we were just playing it back. So you can't be, when you are saving the data, you can't be playing it. You need to be stopped. You have to have the file open, but you have to be stopped. And then you can go to save menu and you get the different savings done.